So what's going on, movie lovers? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. And so I got a little quickie movie review. It's gonna I'm gonna be around five minutes with this thing for a movie that until here recently I didn't even know it existed. You remember those times back in the day you used to hear about Lovers Lane, yeah, where the young teenagers would go to a secluded area in park. They would fondle each other in the dark. They would do steamy kisses. They would steam up the windows. And then that, yeah, that killer with the hook hand would come out and try to kill them all. You don't remember that last part? Where you would if you watched this movie, Lover's Lane. The perfect movie for Valentine's Day. So let me tell you about this movie. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Did you hear something? Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you're scared. Lover's Lane. So yeah, let's dig into this movie a little bit. Lover's Lane. So I'm going to read you the synopsis on the back. 13 years ago, two young lovers were brutally murdered at Lover's Lane by a crazed killer wielding a steel hook. The killer was caught, but the scars he left behind never healed. Now it's Valentine's Day again, and the killer has escaped with revenge in his heart and his deadly hook. Valentine's Day, a time for love and romance, not anymore. It even says there's no such thing as safe sex on the front. So I will say this. The movie itself steals heavily from tropes in Friday the 13th. Uh, Halloween with the killer being caught and escaped. Um, so same with... Uh, uh, my bloody Valentine, and then also as you heard, the killer is has a hook for one of his hands. So obviously this came out after I know what you did last summer. So you would think if they took all those things and stole from all those plots, they mash it together, it'd be hot garbage, right? No, I actually enjoyed this movie. I'm gonna give it. I'll go just go ahead and tell you a thumbs up. Not a very enthusiastic one, but a pretty good thumbs up. This is an uncovered gem that I didn't know existed until here recently. I bought a DVD from somebody when I was looking through the rest of their movies. They had this, and I got it really cheap off of eBay. So if you have a copy of it, this would be a great movie to watch with somebody on Valentine's Day. Like I said, it's got all the normal tropes in there. You get a lots of some good kills. You get some pretty good nudity. Um, the nudity would be better with a good transfer. More about that later. And um, the plot isn't that bad. The characters look pretty uh, pretty decent. The dialogue isn't that horrible. Some good jokes in there. It stars Anna Fair. She's not the main character. She's a supporting character from Scary Movie fame. She's even got a joke in there, while similar to like a Scary Movie joke, where she distracts one of the young um, guys who's injured by pulling up her shirt. Now, you don't get to see her, but there's plenty of other nude scenes in this movie. And I will tell you this, though. This movie really needs a remaster, and a little more on that later. But, um, yeah, there's one of the scenes where it was in the dark and they're, the boy's fondling the girl and she's actually, you know, undresses. And I'm like, this movie is so heavy in grain. The transfer looks like a bad VHS on this DVD and it's full frame that I'm sitting there up on the screen going, wait a minute, is that green or is, is that the nipple right there? So, yeah, um, speaking of new transfer, I read, I think it's Arrow is going to, is remastering this movie and it's going to come out in April. So we're going to get the full frame version and also the uh, matted widescreen version. So, um, I th hopefully they did a lot of jo a good job of cleaning it up and then you can really enjoy this. So I'm recommending this to watch it for ha Valentine's day. If you own it, if you don't, don't seek it out right now. Like wait for that remaster to come out. And I think you won't regret it. It's a really fun time. Um, I really like the movie. Um, like I said, I'm recommending it with the thumbs up. So Lover's Lane, um, yeah, something to watch with the with the loved one on Valentine's Day. So have you seen Lover's Lane? Do you remember it back in the day? Like this came out in 1999. So I mean, I think it just got lost in the shuffle back then. I hadn't seen it until I watched it on this disc. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you thought think it was hot garbage or did you think it's worthwhile? Um, speaking of that, like I said, comment on all my videos, like all my videos, drop a thumbs up on all of them. Keep supporting the channel. The more you guys support me, the more I can support you with things like giveaways and more videos and more reviews and everything else pop culture related. So until next time, boys and girls, this is Jeff Man 316, your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there on Lover's Lane.